What's up, YouTube? Fat Boy Tools Tools Six here. Out here with the uh, F-150. As you see, we ordered some new tail lights. These are the new tail lights, and these are the factory tail lights. So we're gonna upgrade the tail lights today. And I'm just doing a quick video of showing y'all um, side by side comparison of the factory tail lights versus these aftermarket LED tail lights. I guess you wanna say it. And also, we're gonna be upgrading uh, the third brake light. This is a uh, LED third brake light, and it comes with the gasket I guess right here and also these little two little rubber grommets to help seal the water out and we just out here um, doing these little stalls thinking about going down to Middle Beach for truck week uh, as nopey as you call it but we'll show you a side by side comparison of the lights this is a really simple install to do just take out these two light, but two screws right here on either side of the factory up there, and same thing with the uh, tail lights. You just unloosen these two screws right here. They unloosen right here, right here. One, two screws. One right here, and it's one right here. That takes the. Uh, Tail light assembly loose, and I was kind of contemplating on making a video of this because it's kind of easy to do, self explanatory like that. But easy option to do, take this out. You have these little clips right here, as you see, oh, little clips right here, like these little point things right here, like that. And they go in here and here. And all you do is Unscrew the bottom reverse bob out. Unscrew the uh, brake slash. Just twist this, pull it. Okay, now it won't act crazy. It won't act crazy, but on one hand, you just twist it. Yeah, I guess you gotta wiggle it. You don't have to wiggle it, but. Okay, well, now it's gonna be difficult. I don't know why, but the other one came out so easy. But you just twist it and it unlocks. And it comes, it's supposed to come right out. I don't know why this one here wants to act crazy. But, okay, there it goes. And then this bulb's gonna be hot, so I'm gonna use my shirt. Get the bulb out. All right. This is the socket. I don't know why this whole thing came out, but yeah. And also, you just all you do is this right here. Take the new light, and it comes with this pigtail. It looks like a light bulb. Just plug it right in. And as you can see, there it goes. And then I'm going to end. We probably taking these out and order some LED ones. But right now, I don't have any, so I'm gonna put this back in. It comes with three different sizes, a small, medium, large. And it sees right here, you just line this big one up. The medium and small, just plug it in, twist it. Same thing with the, uh, the top one too, it has these holes right here. You just feed this back into here.
and then you line these up and twist it back in place and then line these pins up I'm doing a horrible job of holding this camera but I'm trying to do this at the same time line these pins up kind of give it a push and then put the screws back in right back here and as you can see right here goes back in the same original hole right here same thing with the bottom one then take my eight millimeter I have right here and let's use my eight millimeter and let's see Tighten it up. Same thing right here, the bottom one. Tighten it up. Okay. As you can see, YouTube, now we have both of them installed. I showed you the second one because it was, I want to make sure I know everything I was doing right first. But as you can see, this is the park lights, or running lights, brake lights. And then we're going to end up uh, turning the um, emergency lights on. This is how it looks. So this is going to be the slash turn signal emergency light with the bulbs. And I guess the new style OADL lights. As far as the running and brick lights, so I don't even have nobody out here to help me press the reverse light, I mean the brick pedals. So, but you get the idea, it's gonna light up. And we also go end up doing this one too. But like I say, this is a quick install too. You just unto the yeah, Phillip head, I screw the two Phillip heads, plug this in, put the new gasket, and do the same thing. And I'm not going to show you that because it's kind of plenty of videos on YouTube probably showing how to install a third brick light and like I said, how to install these two, but I thought I'd make a quick little video and so like I said, these are the wheels I went with, these are uh, a daytime video of the Tough, but I'll do a review of the whole truck later on so you can get a better view of it. Alright YouTube, Fatboy206 here. Out.